Welcome to today's lesson on the greatest common factor. Today we're going to review how you can find the greatest common factor of two numbers. Let's go ahead and begin. Let's begin today by discussing what a factor is. A factor is a number that you multiply by another number to equal a product. For example, if we were to multiply 3 times 4 to equal a product of 12, our factors would be 3 and 4 because those are the two numbers that we're multiplying together to equal a product of 12. So when we're trying to find the greatest common factor of two numbers, we're trying to find the greatest factors that they both have in common. So let's go ahead and let's work through this together. To start, we are going to list all of the factors for two different numbers, and then we're going to compare those factors to find the greatest common one that they both have. So let's go ahead and let's start with the number 12. What factors do we have for the number 12? When we're listing our factors, we want to make sure that we list them in order from least to greatest, and that will keep us organized. So we know we can multiply 1 times 12 to equal 12. We can multiply 2 times 6 to equal 12. We can multiply 3 times 4 to equal 12. And we can't multiply anything by 5, so we've now listed all of our factors for the number 12. Let's go ahead and let's compare this to the factors of the number 15. We can multiply 1 times 15 to equal 15. We can't multiply anything by 2, so now we move on to 3. We can multiply 3 times 5 to equal 15. But there aren't any other numbers that we can multiply together, so we've now listed all of our factors. All right, now on to the easy part. Now we just have to compare and see the largest factor that they both share. So they don't share 12 or 15. They do not share 6 as a factor or 5. They do not share 4 as a factor. But look at this. They both share 3 as a factor. So the greatest common factor that they both have is the number 3. Do you think you can work through one of these problems on your own? I'm going to give you two numbers, and I want you to tell me the greatest common factor for each number. Let's find the greatest common factor for the number 24 and 36. All right, let's go ahead. 24, we can multiply 1 times 24. We can multiply 2 times 12. We can multiply 3 times 8. We can multiply 4 times 6, and we now have all of our factors listed for the number 24. So now we have to list all of our factors for the number 36. We have 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9. We can't multiply anything by 5, but we can multiply 6 times 6, and we now have all of our factors listed. Let's go ahead and find the greatest common factor that both numbers share. Well, neither numbers share 36 as a common factor or 24. 36 and 24 do not share 18, so now we move on to the number 12. And look at that, 24 and 36 both have a factor of 12, and so that is the greatest common factor that they both share. Let's go ahead and review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're trying to find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers, you need to list out all the factors for each number and put them in order from least to greatest. For example, if we wanted to compare the numbers 9 and 16 and find the greatest common factor that they both shared, we would need to list out each of their factors. So we can multiply 1 times 9 to equal 9 and we can multiply 3 times 3 to equal 9. So those are our factors for the number 9. Our factors for the number 16, we have 1 times 16, we have 2 times 8, and we have 4 times 4. So we've now listed all of our factors for the number 16. So when we're trying to find the greatest common factor that they both share, we want to start with the largest numbers first, because that's what we're comparing. And we can say that neither number shares the factors 9, 16, 8, 
four, three, or two, which means the greatest common factor for these two numbers is the number one.